Hi, this is Dr. Jana speaking. I'd like to spend about five minutes with you and share a technique that I think may come in very helpful when you're doing composites. So let's say that you have just completed a restoration and you are polishing it down and you discover a void. So the question is, do we have to remove the entire restoration and start all over again? And the answer is no. And this is the technique that we can follow to repair that. So the first thing we're going to do is to place a rubber dam over the tooth. And we don't have to include the adjacent teeth. All we have to do is punch one hole put the clamp on the tooth and pop it over. So we're going to place that clamp on the tooth, lubricate the tissue side of the dam with the patient's saliva and just pop the dam over the one tooth. It's going to be repaired. Now what we need to do is take the 012 green stripe diamond, which is coarse cut and open up the defect and you can see the number on them is the, uh, it's the 6878K31012. It's a long skinny diamond. And this is a coarse cut, which means it's going to create some micromechanical irregularities in the composite so that we'll be able to get a good bond. So let's watch that in action. And then the next step is going to be to etch. Now, you may ask this question, when we're etching composite, does it actually etch? And the answer is no. If this was adjacent to the enamel, we would be etching the enamel. But all we're trying to do now is to clean all the degrindings and the debris out of the tooth so it's nice and clean. So the etching is mainly a cleaning operation in this case. Now that it's nice and clean, we're going to rub in some bonding agent for 10 seconds, air thin for 10 seconds, and then light cure for 20 seconds, just like we normally would do in a bonding procedure. Now we're ready to place the composite. And we it's a very small opening, so we'll probably do it with an explorer, compress it with ball burnishers, and then smooth with a micro brush and light cure for 20 seconds. Now we're ready to remove the dental dam, check the occlusion, make any necessary corrections, and repolish if necessary, and we're done.